Hello, welcome to the Shiloh Farm. Today we're gonna to talk about pinching zinnias. Now, zinnias are one of the most beautiful annual flowers that you can grow in your garden. And there's a lot of different varieties, but one of the best ways to get a lot of flowers and a lot of blooms is by pinching them. Not every zinnia needs pinched. It's totally an optional thing. Think about it like pruning. So there are, like I said, a lot of varieties. Some varieties like a thumbelina only gets like six to eight inches tall. You don't really have to worry about pinching those at all. But your gold, um, or sorry, your California varieties, some of those can grow like three feet tall. And what happens when it grows that tall is they're much more likely to fall over. So by pinching them, you're actually keeping your growing point a lot lower. Plus what ends up happening when you cut this main stem off, it shoots out two new stems. Zinnias are really sensitive to pinching. <clears throat> so it'll actually produce more stems and you'll get more flowers. But if you like a big strong stem with a big bloom right on top, you probably don't want to pinch it because your main stem is where you're going to get the biggest bloom. And by pinching it, you'll get more flowers, but they might be a little bit smaller. So that's kind of the why behind the pinching of zinnias. So let's dive into what it actually takes to pinch a zinnia. Let's start off by talking about when to pinch. Now, this is a young zinnia. You do not want to pinch them until they have their first set of three true leaves. This first set is not actually a true leaf. You look for your first set of true leaves, which is these two right here. You want three sets of that. So this one's not ready to go. Um, next, you've got one like this. This one's close, but on this variety, you want them to be about nine to 12 inches tall. So it's not quite tall enough. This one right here, is about perfect. We're, we're right at about a, probably a foot, 14 inches. And what we're looking for is this set of leaves and then these two leaves right on top. This is very similar to like pruning tomatoes, if you're familiar with that. What's going to happen is you're going to want to pinch it right here, right above these two leaves. And if you pinch this off like that, these two leaves right here will actually turn into more stems. So you can pinch it with your fingers or you can just take a pair of scissors like so and snip it off. Here you can see a zinnia that we've already pinched. You'll see the main stem and where we trimmed it off right there, pinched it right above these two leaves. And you'll see now that we've got two nice stems growing off the side. These will turn into beautiful zinnia blooms. As those side shoots continue to grow, you can actually keep pinching throughout the entire growing season. But here on our farm, we don't really have the time to do that. So we just pinch them once and then harvest whatever we get. Thanks for watching. As always, hope you all learned something and don't forget to subscribe for more fun garden facts.